What is going on, guys? We are doing a create a rustler randomizer. This is a video that I meant to do a while ago. You know, when I made the other videos, but I didn't do it. So I'm going to do it right now. It's a little late in the game, but we're going to do it anyway. Let's go ahead and select technician. I wanted to experiment with this anyway, so, you know, got these personas. I'm not going to use a persona. Actually, no, let me go back. Let me go to no persona to start off. And then we're going to go ahead and do randomizer. Now, randomizer, they basically just give you different sizes, and they, they pretty much change everything. The, when I, I remember when I tried this before, it was crashing the game, like, when the game first came out. So let's go ahead and randomize our guy. Oh my goodness, what in the world is that? Six foot eight. Why does he look taller than six foot eight? Six foot eight, two sixteen. He's like a slim build. Looks like he's got some makeup. Yeah, he's got some eye makeup for whatever reason. I don't know. What would you call this guy? I don't know. Let's go ahead and randomize again. I don't know if they even bother to change the skin color. He's got an R Truth vest on. Why would you have an R Truth? Fist one, that's funny, but it's got different colors. I guess he's got face paint with a mustache over top of okay. That's a little weird, you know. I thought they said that oh my goodness. I'm actually this is funny because I'm trying to look for something that I think that I think that I would actually use. He looks bigger than 396. If he's six foot ten, he just looks crazy. If I created this character, I would put the word wild in his name and probably add some other word to it. Because, man, he just looks crazy. Let's take a look here. Okay. They like to do funny stuff with the hair. When you make the hair these weird colors and you make it shiny, it kind of looks like plastic. The hair just looks really bad. If you make it like a black or brown dark color, it doesn't. it looks pretty good. But when you make it one of these weird colors... It doesn't look like hair. It almost looks like... Yeah, look at that guy's body. That's actually not face paint. That's supposed to be like a skin damage, but it doesn't match his complexion. Then his hair is bright yellow. It just looks crazy. Oh, my goodness. I thought the developer said it wasn't going to be... It wasn't going to look like the... Look wacky as the other ones. But this stuff has turned out extremely wacky. He's got, he's got antlers, man. What is that? He's got some. He's got the Finn Balor tattoo on his chest. It looks like. Now I know that they're matching the colors up and stuff. That just looks. I haven't seen any created, you know, anything that would be worth even using. The stuff is just a little on the wacky side. Six foot eleven. He doesn't. It's got that facial hair, and, you know. This stuff just ain't lining up, unless you just want to be real goofy. Yeah, I don't know what's. I don't know what you would do with this character here. It seems like they're making all the hair super shiny on this randomizer. That looks like something from maybe somebody that would be from the 80s or something. Maybe even 70s. Oh, no, that just looks horrible. Yeah. Again, the hair is super shiny. They just like doing that. Yeah, these creative wrestlers are a little wacky. The, the wacky randomized characters, they look they look less realistic for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. I, and he's got a, a turtle shell. Come on, man. But he has... His face looks like some type of, like, leopard or something. But then he's got a turtle shell. This is absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's go on. It's got some skateboard elbow pads. That's what they look like. 
I do like the pants color. Yeah, no, no thank you. That just looks... Dang, how come I never seen that hair for males? That's super long hair. Not that I want to use it or anything. I, I do kind of like his attire. I would definitely change his hair if I was going to use this guy. I might use this guy. Not with that hair, though. I'll change his hair. I, I can't. Let's see what we can do with him. I might use him. Sometimes I take a character that I want to use, but I'm, I'm not done with him, and I just save him without finishing him and then finish him later with, you know, once I come up with ideas because I definitely would not be using that hair for sure. I, I just couldn't see myself. I couldn't see using that at all. I would prefer like a short hair for this guy. Maybe make him like some type of high flyer. They gave him a few scars, didn't they? Or some type of skin issue. See what that looks like. I don't know, maybe I would go with tights, you know, long tights instead of these trunks. But I'm not keeping that character, let's keep going. Oh, wait a minute. I'm only randomizing the appearance, let's randomize everything. Gosh, what's up with those veins in his stomach? That looks horrible. I've never seen anybody with veins popping on their stomach, by the way, just for the record. That almost looks like a plant or something. I would probably use this attire, but I would make him a heavier guy. Let me show you what I would do. I would make him shorter and heavier. And I would definitely would get rid of those veins. I, I've never seen anybody with those type of veins, but anyway. Oh, he had the second to largest body? I would give him this one. And there's no way you would even have veins. Let me, oh crap, I just saw veins. Let me get rid of them. He almost looks like a plant or something. Like a leaf. Yeah, I mean, that looks like somebody you could use, like, almost like a Rikishi type of guy, maybe. Get rid of those veins for sure. It's definitely unfortunate that you can't edit the body parts, but I understand what they're saying, you know, about the body parts, you know, adjusting them because it interferes with some of the animations and clothes morphing, and they wanted to create bodies that fit, you know, where the clothes morphing wouldn't be a problem and then the, one of the de, somebody from the development team said they wanted their bodies to look more real and move more fluidly or something something along those lines but let's see should i make him shorter nah yeah i feel like i would use this guy in fact, I think I will. I'm going to save him. Because I'm going to give him a name and everything and use him as one of my creative wrestlers. i got quite a few creative wrestlers now. I, you know, I've been creating, you know. I create some ring managers and stuff too for my little, you know, promotion that I created with my creative ring. I haven't created my universe yet, but I'm going to use all my created wrestlers in my uh, universe. I create some championship belts. The, create, the championship belts I created are pretty typical. They're, they're no big deal. I'll just show you, you know. This is for my little promotion. Got the women's tag team. Got the men's tag team. Got the United States title. And you got your world title. For women and men. I just call it the world title, but, you know, I made the design similar. Yeah, I don't got nothing that looks too crazy. We're going to go ahead and go to randomize on female this time. See what we can come up with. Let's go ahead and go to no persona. 
I want to start completely from scratch and then randomize it. I don't know if that even affects the randomization, but that's what we're going to do. Yeah, when I first got the game, the first day, I went to this and it was it was it was it was crashing the game. It crashed. I, I think I only did it once. And I went in, I hit uh randomize and the game just crashed right there. Man, this stuff looks crazy. Why does she look bigger than 61? Very rarely will I see a package like a character that I would definitely use with everything. Usually the hair is not right or something. You know, I, I changed something. What in the world? We, you know, she going to wrestle with that on? I guess so. That looks like something you might better use. I would use her as a high flyer, me personally. Oh my goodness, we got a giant. She's got a wig on. Oh my goodness. That doesn't even look like a real woman. Come on now. That looks like a... Uh, never mind, I'm not going to get into it. We're not going to do that. Okay, so... A lot of the... Like, if you go to medium build for these women, a lot of them have too much muscle. That's what I don't like. You know, I wish they had the option to... Well, they do have the... Look at, see, they overshine you the hair when you do random. It's, it's like her hair is completely soaked. I mean, that attire looks right. You could probably... I don't know if I'd put it on that character with that body type, but probably I'd probably put it on a smaller character, but... The female one ain't looking too good. They're, they're overdoing, like, that attire works. I would give that to, it, again, not for that character, but, you know. They sure like to make the hair super shiny, don't they? She's got wings. Anyway, we're going to end this video. That's what randomizer looks like. It's not it's not as good as I thought because I thought they were going to I thought I thought they said they were going to make him look a little bit more realistic, but these hair, you know, it's the randomizer randomizer and this is pretty much exactly like the 2K19 one. But anyway, that's this video. What's your opinion on this? Do you ever use randomizer to create characters i think a lot of people don't create their own unique characters they're just creating you know other characters that they already know about at least you know that's what it seems like anyway that's this video thanks for watching make sure you subscribe we got a lot of videos coming up in the near future not just this game but future games as well check out some of the latest games that i just recently posted